Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to episode four of the Equestria at War King Sombra playthrough. Go ahead and uh, mess around here a little bit. I got a couple of things I want to change. Uh, first and foremost, um, I, I we are going to eventually go to war with Equestria. All we've done is buy ourselves some time by uh, not executing their sister, but we're still going to have an issue at some point. So we're going to work on improving relations with them, though. Maybe see if we can buy some time. I'd love to see if uh, maybe Nightmare Moon comes about. That'd be great, actually. Because then we could potentially... Mary Nightmare Moon. Let's see. Okay, and then the other thing is organize all of this. So we've got our divisions here. Let's see, where are they? We're working on these now. Eventually, we're going to get some armored divisions trained. We are currently building some heavy tanks. We're not building anything else. We should probably do that. Um, we'll probably go ahead and pull one off of here. And get ourselves some um, motorized infantry going. Seems like a really good idea. Military training. Let's give us some army experience gains. I think we'll go ahead and take the military training there. And one of these ponies are going to be in charge of training, of handling our armored units. And I think it's going to be this pony here. So we're actually going to unassign his units for now. We'll take those units and feed them into this army. Like so. And uh, this will be just one massive force. Don't really like how it's spaced out though. And then this army I'm going to change up a bit. Let me do this. We're going to make a new front line to try and protect Crystal City in the event, of, or, or well, I should say not in the event, I should say in the inevitable Crystal War that's going to happen. Uh, the most important thing is going to be protecting Crystal City from falling. So we'll go ahead and switch these here. Let's actually redo this. Give ourselves a new front line like that. Okay, these units are going to stay here for whatever reason. Unassigned divisions, there you are. Get in there. All right, and training up two of those there. We got the armored divisions. I'm fine with the way this is for now. We could give them a, let's see. We could give them a engineer company. Um, It wouldn't be a bad idea to give the slave division anti-tank. Oh, they really should have anti-tank. It's not, boy, it's not a bad idea. I don't think I have any anti-tank. See, I'm not making any toad anti-tank. I need more factories is what I need. We're working on the devoted army now. Just let that tick by. I would like to train up some more of Sombra's Royal Guard units so we can improve that as well. Eventually, we're going to edit these guys. We'll give them mage companies and such. Uh, I will actually give these guys a little bit more of a combat with. Their combat with is terrible right now. Um, so that's all we can do for them. And we'll have them spawn here in Crystal City, Central Crystal, uh, the Central Crystal City, that is. Yeah, so the Mage Companies. Right after the Crystal Mortar, we're going to go for those Mage Companies. We definitely want to have those as a support unit, especially for our more veteran uh, units. And nice. Equestria's opinion of the Crystal Empire is going up, maybe... We can get this into the positives. Mortal enemies minus 100 is definitely not helping us. They're going to eventually get the... I'm just wondering if this is going to buy us time. It might not buy us any time. They do eventually get an event to go to war with us. Uh, so it really could just be a matter of time. 
Okay, let's go ahead and get ourselves the mage companies going. It's gonna be very useful in our in our war efforts. I don't know if I really should be working on the tanks or not. The tanks and the motorized, or if I really should just be focusing on things like towed artillery. Instead of tanks and motorized, maybe it makes more sense to work on... I mean, eventually we can do these when we get more military factories, but you know... It, it probably makes more sense to get some anti-tank going. Uh, instead, I'm going to say that that's going to be more beneficial. Oh, we have an artillery deficit. Let's go ahead and do that. And let's take the slave divisions or we're putting them in the royal guards. The royal guards are going to have the... No, let's put them in the slave divisions. We've already got engineer companies there. Let's give them anti-tank support as soon as we can. We're uh, as soon as we get more experience, that is. But we'll start making anti-tanks so we have them. I'm not gonna make tanks and motorized infantry yet. I think it's a little, just a little too early for us. Just a little bit. We're, we'll get there, but we're not ready. Could take some decisions if we wanted to. Deeper into the Crystal Mountains, I'd like to save up for that. Civilian factory use too. Civilian factories right now making some more military factories. Uh, we've got 14 civilian factories. I could do some infrastructure and that's not a bad idea. Why don't we do this, this, and this? Um, we could do some land forts. It's so tough though. There's no like spot where it's like, yes, this is the place for a land fort. You know, it's like, uh, you know, in between here might be, you know, if we do some land forts here to try and protect Crystal City, that that's never gonna be built in time. Now, there is a special event we can take that'll help us build land forts quicker. You now maybe get rid of the infrastructure and focus on the land forts. Let's try that and see. Land forts along the area where um, our, our most powerful force is, I guess. Yeah, no template for the towed anti-tank. They're not being utilized yet. Okay, we've got the bonus factory here and devoted army. It's a great grab. Let's go ahead and go for... I'm not going to do war on Acrestria just yet. Whatever buys me some time. We get the two militaries, two civilians. See, this here gives you a fortification effort, which grants daily political power gain down, but you get land for construction speed 35%, air base construction speed 10, anti-air construction speed 10. That's going to take 70 days. There's a lot of stuff here, though. It's a little bit more beneficial. I think I'd much rather get the uh, bonus military. This gives me three more military factories. And we can actually start researching very quickly if we get some of these. This gives me two military factories as well and two civilian factories, which would help with a lot of stuff here. Citrum Company, which grants armor research time. Ventus Nix Company, Corporation. This gives me a bunch of corporations. This gives me a lot of bonus infrastructure, institute. Then we can go Dark Magic. Political, uh, daily political power gain, recruitable population, mobilization speed, stability modifiers. Enhanced Crystal gives me army experience gain, out of supply, supply consumption, heat attrition, winter attrition, max entrenchment. These are probably going to be a lot more useful down here. All right, let's get the three civilian factories. That'll at least help speed up my war effort on the uh, building the forts here anyways. 
the new army so we have a chance of losing political power please be the 15% because that's a lot okay it was not so now we're in negative which means we can't improve relations anymore that's gonna hurt meanwhile we still have a deficit on towed infantry but we are or towed artillery but we're working on it infantry's fine anti-tank seem to be fine or they will be fine because we haven't updated the template yet for them let's do some more towed anti-tank though uh we might as well let these guys try to train we don't need them just yet we will at some point, but we don't. Equestrian's opinion of the Crystal Empire is... is uh, actually in the positives. That's kind of crazy. Improved relations, minus three a month. And, uh, released royalty gave us that plus 80 bonus. Okay. Alright, I guess we can go ahead and put the support anti-tank here. Oh, we're not going to be able to fill that at all. Um, we'll start working on it. We should have another military factory here shortly anyways. <coughs> Oop, doggo is barking. She's upset. She's very energetic today. Yeah, having those mage companies will be real nice. I will say that. Civilian factories puts me at 17. That should get me the other military factory there, and then these are gonna these are gonna be what are gonna take some time. And then that'll actually put us into building multiple things here shortly. We'll see how long these will take. I may not build all of these. Where are they all? Maybe just a couple of them. We probably don't need them in the mountains, honestly. The two mountainous areas will be the easiest to defend. Just go for that and just see what happens. And then do I want to, what is the combat width for my current templates? Is it, does it need to be adjusted? Uh, 22 is fine. These guys, I think were a little bit, yeah, they, they do need to be, they do need to be edited. Uh, they're going to get the magic. Though they're gonna get the magic companies, that's gonna help. They could get support artillery, but we're already burning through artillery. Um, recon gives them some defense uh, supply. Let's see, organization down a little bit, but they do get a decent amount of defense, soft attack, hard attack. Obviously, the reconnaissance. I'd much rather give them the mage company. And we do got the artillery upgrade, which is nice. We get some Pegasi divisions. If we go for this, we get factory output. Magical infantry defense plus 10% magical infantry organization plus 5. Or we get the entrenchment speed plus 7%. Dispersed training, specialized training. Improved spell books, breakthrough soft attack, organization, soft hard organization, defense and HP. Breakthrough soft organization, soft hard. Kind of like the specialized training a little bit better. What else, if we were to go with something, what else could we go with? None of this really, so I think we're gonna go with the combat tele 
Kinesis. Still a little ways away from mage companies anyway. I do not like these equestrian forces on my border. Let's go ahead and get these guys uh, built so we can train some more units. I'm sure that war is inevitable at this point. I want to get my border covered. And uh, I can already flesh out the equipment here so then that way these guys can start training so they're ready to go. From feudalism to the new age, that is fantastic. It's going to give us the 17 factories we need, so we'll max out our um, use factories here shortly. Then we're going to be able to start working on the forts. It's going to be nice. Uh, next, we're either going with some military and civilian factories. We get the infrastructure bonus. We get the two civilian factories, and we get some design companies here. We can't seem to hold on to political power, so I'm going to say the design companies are as important right now. Uh, we can get three military factories if we go for grim armament. I said the two military, military and two civilian. Uh, this would get us the institute, which is the additional research slot, and then we can immediately start going down dark magic or dark crystals. Hmm. Gaze National Spear, Evil Genius, Grants Research Time minus 5%. Okay, Mind Controlling is good. Profound Study of Crystal Magic. Magic Research Time. There's a bunch of research bonuses. A lot of this is. Could do Radiant Magic. Uh, Radiant Marriage too. Stability, Division Recovery Rate, Experience, Soldier Losses, Same Ideology, Monthly Opinion. I'd love to get the Lunar Marriage. Okay, let's go with Ah, oh, God. I'd love the political power gain. All right, we're going to go with factories. What is our recruitable population right now? Volunteer only, really. Okay, we got to do something about that later. At least we do have the war economy, which is good. About to go back into a positive here. Ooh, they've got a... They've got a war support here at... 24.3%, so it's only a matter of time now before they go to war with us, I'm sure of it. Oh, they've moved their forces off our border again, though. That's good news. Key Lake Steel Production. They're going to go to the war with Eleni at any time now. Manhattan Steel Factories. Everybody working on steel production. What are you guys working on? New Horizons, okay. How about Yak Yakistan? Common enemies. Common enemies, what's that? Uh, the Griffin threat, Changeling threat. Okay, huh. Okay, another military factory is constructed. We're going to go ahead and throw that on to... Probably artillery. We seem to be not able to keep up with artillery. Support equipment's fine. We don't have a lot of it saved up, but we're doing okay with it. We're going to get some more civilian factories here shortly, and we can deal with that uh, when it hits us. Meanwhile, how fast are we looking at for some forts here? 5th of July, 108. Okay, so the forts build pretty quickly. We could take the... 
We could jump over and take uh, the no step on our sneak. That would give us the bonuses for a year. I don't know. Eventually, war with Equestria is inevitable, so those forts will come in handy at any point. Uh, it's not like we're going to build them and then we're never going to use them. We are going to go to war with Equestria. It's just a matter of when does it actually happen. There we go. We got ourselves some mage companies, though. We could go ahead and work right down this list. We're either going with the Magical Harmony or the Magical Supremacy line. Uh, this one will give us the mage company armor plus 45 or 450,000%. Hold on. <sighs> oh, my goodness. Excuse me. So that's really, really good. You get Mage Company Reliability minus 2%. This one over here, Tactical Illusion Magic. You get a high breakthrough, Mage Company Reliability minus 2%. Um, oh, it's minus 2% for both. So let's see. Trickle back, Company Piercing, Company Reliability, Reliability, Reliability. Organization, so you don't take the Reliability. Uh, I'm going to go with the Shield Magic Focus, though. And we're going to go ahead and put those magic companies as, as uh, quick as we can into our Royal Guard units. Give ourselves a mage company. I uh, may not even be a bad idea to give us some artillery. Just increase our combat width a bit. Uh, you know what? We'll, we'll, we'll leave it off for now. They can just keep us... Moving a little bit quicker, I guess. If anything, I would just try to increase the combat width by adding more uh, infantry. Gets me up to 16. Um, let's just stick with the mage companies for now. That's going to take down my pony power anyways. I think I want to get the Pegasi next, but we're already working on a bunch of magic stuff with the shield magic focus. So we won't get the Pegasus just yet. Let's... A lot of this stuff's starting to fall behind. Let's work on getting... We can go concentrated or dispersed industry. Um, let's go with the concentrated. Well, Crustria is not really on the border anymore, so that that's a really good sign. We've managed to maintain some opinion of them. Uh, I don't think the mortal enemies is going to go away anytime soon. We can continue to improve relations. Uh, daily costs, let's do that. We'll take the daily cost hit. Uh, it's not going to affect us that much. I would like to keep the, re the relations improved until we have uh, some allies. Stalingrad took our town, okay. If the Changelings go to war with the Kingdom of Olenia, then uh, the Equestria and the Changelings, it's only a matter of time. I'd like to wait till the Changelings go to war with Equestria. Uh, beforehand, and it would be great if Nightmare Moon went off at some point. And I don't see anything here. They're just working on the Manhattan Steel factories right now. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and leave it off here since we are out of time and at the end of this episode. Um, not bad. We're building up our forces slowly. We need to get a little bit better grasp on our border here. But look at that. We've already got some some uh, forts up. So they're, they're fairly cheap and they don't seem to take much time to put up. 
We've already got, uh, we're just working on that one there. Uh, I may as well go ahead then and build the other two forts maybe on the mountains now. So that I've got them. Actually, it might make sense if I put some forts around Crystal City, right? Maybe not a bad idea. But we, we're probably better off waiting and we'll take that focus to do that. So let's do some infrastructure here instead. Because it'll be beneficial to do that. So we can work on all of that infrastructure. And after the infrastructure, I really would like to get some more military factories. So we can do that. All right. So with that being said, I want to thank you all for joining me. I do hope that you've enjoyed it. I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you.